Tears of the Kingdom will not have DLC. A.J. Alnuma recently stated in the latest Famitsu article that there is no current plans for any DLC for Tears of the Kingdom, and that all of the ideas that they did have for Tears of the Kingdom they used to make the game, because Tears of the Kingdom itself was originally DLC ideas for Breath of the Wild that they fleshed out to make a full game. And I've seen already online a lot of people in denial and saying that just because they're denying this and they're saying that it's there, that there's nothing coming doesn't mean that we aren't getting DLC because we've seen this before with like Skyward Sword HD. And uh, I just wanna point out that they are giving valid reasons as to why they're not pursuing DLC with this game. Um, and that's not really something you see them do. Typically with, with like, when they're being coy and they don't want to like say things and they can't reveal when a game's coming out like in Skyward Sword HD, you know, they don't really delve into the reasoning behind it. They're just like, uh, it's not coming. This is pretty cut and dry, at least in my opinion, that they're moving on from Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom and that everything that they wanted to achieve with this Hyrule, they already have. And I think people expecting DLC, regardless of what, A.G. Alanuma and Fujibayashi are saying is uh, kind of setting yourself up for failure and you're going to be really disappointed when you inevitably don't get any DLC. I want there to be DLC. Don't get me wrong. I just think that it would be much better for you to just let it be a natural surprise uh, and to not expect it. Because if something were to ever come later on down the line, then yes, that's exciting. That's fun. And it's, you know, it's, uh, it, it's a surprise to you. But Going off of what they're saying currently, it doesn't look like anything's coming. And to expect something to come, even after they've stated that there's no plans, you're just going to be living in a constant state of denial and expectations for something that's probably not going to happen. I've also seen some other people bring up the fact that Master Mode is kind of up in the air now. Um, so, you know, the, a DLC in my mind is, you know, like a paid expansion or add-on to it. And Master Mode, if I'm not mistaken, was kind of bundled in with um, uh, DLC Pack 1 with Breath of the Wild. I might be misremembering on that. It might have been additional. So, I mean, there is the possibility that maybe something like a Master Mode could be added to the game with a free update instead of a paid DLC. Um, but given that they might not do that, I think there is a workaround and the fact that we are still getting two new amiibos later this year with Zelda and Ganondorf. Now, if you recall, the Ganondorf amiibo, the Smash Ganondorf amiibo, um, had a unique functionality in Twilight Princess HD to where it dealt double damage. Now, this could be a workaround that they could use for Master Mode with Tears of the Kingdom with this new uh, Ganondorf amiibo. So they could use that same kind of feature into this to make you take more damage or to beef up the game in some capacity. Uh, that is pure speculation on my part, um, but it, it is a way that Master Mode could be added into the game in a subtle, but not like like obvious, like, hey, this is a new game mode way. I think it is a huge missed opportunity to not have DLC with this game. There was plenty of areas where this game needed to be fleshed out and further context needed to be added. And I, I thought for sure that, you know, a DLC idea like, uh, akin to the Champions Ballad with the new state uh, with the new sages, uh, would have made a lot of sense. You know, it would have gave us further backstory into the Imprisoning War, uh, further backstory into the ancient sages. Uh, really would have fleshed out parts of the story that desperately needed it, and now we're just not getting any of that, and that is really disappointing. You know, this is a game whose story is really contentious with the with the player base and the fans, and anything to add to kind of make it better would have been extremely beneficial, not only for the people who enjoyed it, but especially for the people who are critical of it. So it is uh, it is really disappointing. Um, and I would love I would love to come back in like six months and be proven completely wrong on this. But uh, it just seems like they are on to the next title, which isn't a bad thing, in my opinion. I do think um, a third game in this Hyrule would overstay its welcome. And I'm excited for whatever new mechanics and ideas they have for the future of the Zelda series, and especially with the next installment. So, you know, it's it does suck that there's no DLC for Tears of the Kingdom, but at the end of the day, this just means that, uh, you know, that 
their whatever they are currently working on is potentially going to be used for uh, the next Zelda release. And that's going to be a lot of fun. That's going to give us, you know, plenty of things to talk about and to speculate on about the direction of this new title with the feedback that they have uh, very obviously heard with Tears of the Kingdom. It is disappointing and it does suck and it would definitely help this game to have DLC, but it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. And I just want to say that you should really check your expectations. And if you are subscribing to the belief that DLC is coming, they're just uh, being secretive about it. Just really take a step back and listen to what they're saying. You know, they're they're being being very blatant with what they're with what they're saying. They're not trying to give any hopes and expectations with what they're saying. They're letting you know that there is nothing coming. And if you go forward believing that, I just worry that you're going to have expectations that aren't met and you're going to be really bummed out. And I just think this is one of those moments where you need to put the copium down just for a minute and really just accept that maybe they're not being discreet and secretive and cryptic and they're just telling the truth. Not everything has to be, you know, this weird conspiracy of just hidden motives and secret reveals and everything. There's just nothing more to add to this game. And that's the way that it seems that they're approaching this. I just worry that it's going to cause a huge amount of outrage and people are going to be overly negative when this is something that is really self-inflicted. So um, don't get me wrong. I want you guys to be excited uh, about The Legend of Zelda, as you should. But this is uh, this is an instance where, um, a, you know, a healthy amount of realism needs to be applied and uh, you should just kind of keep your expectations in check. Let it be a surprise. Let it be uh, let it be this thing that just catches you completely off guard and makes you really excited. Don't go forward with the mindset of it's it's going to happen because I just I I don't think it's going to. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you tuning in. It is a bummer. Let me know what you think. Um, are you really disappointed? Do you think it's time to completely move on from Tears of the Kingdom? Uh, what would you have liked to have seen with DLC? I know a lot of people were talking about speculation with uh, DLC topics. Uh, I was eventually going to do that, but it uh, doesn't look like it really needs to happen now. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you as always. Make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. And uh, links to everything in the description. But that's going to do it. I will see you in the next one.